Hi, I'm here in Pendleton, Salford, outside St. James's House, which is home to the Northwest Regional Offices of the Stroke Association. Here, the sixth floor is home to operations, fundraising and volunteering sections, to name but a few. So let's try and find out why 2012, and in particular the month of May, are so important to them. Hi, my name is Liz Roberts. I'm the Regional Information Officer for the North West for the Stroke Association. Hi Liz. Um, tell me, 20th anniversary of the Stroke Association in 2012. Surely the Stroke Association has been going longer than 20 years. <laughs> yeah, it has. It's been going for over 100 years, actually, in different names. Um, but this time it's been the Stroke Association, as it's been known for the last 20 years. So this year is our 20th anniversary as that. And, uh, and tell me, uh, in May this year, it's uh, Action for Stroke Month. And yeah. Tell me what that means to you in your position. Um, it means a huge deal. Um, I've got lots of things planned. Um, Action for Stroke Month is the first of its kind. We've never had a whole month dedicated to stroke to raise awareness. And we decided to introduce it this year as part of our 20th anniversary. So Action for Stroke Month in May is all about raising the profile, having a lot of stories in the media, running events. Um, and part of my role is to kind of coordinate those events across the area. Okay, and um, I believe you're getting new uniforms as well. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the rebrand. So, um, as a charity, we're not very well known as we are. Um, we seem to be quite old-fashioned. People don't know what we do. Um, so, we've made the decision that the 20th anniversary was a perfect time for us to relaunch ourselves and rebrand. Um, so hopefully we're going to be seen as a modern charity, something people are wanting to be part of. Um, and it's really going to help us in terms of raising awareness of stroke because it really doesn't get the recognition that it deserves. Exciting times. Very exciting. Tiring and exciting. <laughs> I'm Jackie Greenfield. I'm Deputy Head of Operations Northwest for the Stroke Association. I'm based here in the Salford office. Um, my job is to cover the whole of the Northwest region with my colleague Chris Larkin. Um, and at the minute, the teams are very busy coordinating a number of events that are going to happen for Action for Stroke Month in May. Um, but we're also trying to put a really big emphasis on that month so we get a lot of publicity uh, on all the work that has been done by organisation, organisations like the Stroke Association, but more importantly, a raising, raising awareness of what uh, needs to happen in the future, raising money, raising awareness. That's right. I mean, one of the big things we're doing in Action for Stroke is, is launching our very exciting new brand. Um, now, uh, at the minute, we have, an, uh, we're called Stroke Association, we're keeping the same name, but the logo is, is really rather old-fashioned, and it doesn't actually capture what we think the organisation is about, um, which is far more dynamic, and we uh, energetic and looking for loads of different ways to improve uh, services for people who've had stroke and preventing stroke and raising awareness, raising money. So we are launching this new, um, it, we, uh, we can't give too much away at the minute, but that is what we're going to pre be presenting to the outside world in May. With lots of t-shirts, it's, it's going to have big, sort of strokes of colour, the, the name stroke and brush strokes and all of that, and it's uh, a very um, vibrant new brand, which at each of these events, it, part of what we're doing there is also trying to get us out there a bit more, showing how active we are around trying to uh, make life a better place for people who have had strokes, but certainly improving services. Yeah, I'm Louise Kay, I'm the Regional Fundraising Manager for the North West for the Stroke Association, so uh, myself and my team look after um, all the community fundraising activities that take place across the region. Um, so, for example, if somebody comes to us and says they want to raise money for us by running a half marathon or something, we'll make sure that they've got everything that they need to help them do that and obviously make sure that what they're doing is legal and that they're, <laughs> they're not going to get in trouble with anybody and we do everything we can to support people and obviously help them raise as much money as possible. And, uh 2012 is the uh, 20th anniversary of the Stroke Association yeah. uh, as we know it. Um, so, what's uh, what, what does that that mean 
for you then in fundraising? Are there special events going on? Yeah, extra work, etc. Yeah, it is a lot of extra work for everybody, I think, throughout the organisation. But um, with a, within um, our department in regional fundraising, working very closely with communities, um, it's a fantastic opportunity for us because it's a wonderful way to highlight the work of the Stroke Association. Um, we're hoping that the general awareness will be will grow quite a lot during that period, especially throughout the month of May. Um, there's lots of more, lots more um, on the ground activities taking place, and I have to say we've had a lot of support from our colleagues and service delivery side of things who are getting involved and their clients are getting involved as well, um, which is fantastic. And I also believe uh, in May of 2012, it's uh, Action for Stroke Month. Yes. Now, combine that with the 2012 uh, mm -hmm. anniversary, does that mean double the double work? Or? <laughs> double or triple, because we yeah. are also, May is the month when we, um, we organise and run our step out uh, sponsored walks which um, are taking place, uh, they're, they're being used um, all over the Northwest region as a way of marking Action for Stroke Month and also 2012, a way of celebrating 2012. And there's, I think at the last count, we're up to about 25 walks now, which are going to be taking place all across the Northwest. So yes, it's going to be busy, it's going to be busy, but there's going to be literally thousands and thousands of people who are involved in doing something for stroke and raising awareness for Stroke Association and obviously raising money as well. We hope. Hi, my name's Chris Larkin and I'm Deputy Head of Operations for the Stroke Association in the North West. Tell me Chris, um, 2012, 20th anniversary of the uh, Stroke Association as we know it and also May 2012 is the um, Action on Stroke Month. Can you tell me what exciting uh, projects you've on the go for that time? Well, I mean, it is an exciting year for the Stroke Association. Uh, we've got a lot going on, and particularly in the northwest region, there's lots of activity happening to just try and raise awareness of who, it, who we are and what we're doing, um, and particularly to raise more awareness with people about what stroke is. There's a lot of misunderstanding out there, so we're trying to really bust some of the myths that there are around stroke and that um, people still believe, you know, when someone has a stroke, that's the end, the end for them, and that could be the end of their life, really. Um, we know that that's not the case and you know, stroke is a devastating illness but the focus for us this year is about highlighting life after stroke and the recovery that people who've had a stroke can make so we've got a lot going on we've got an exciting art exhibition happening uh, with support from Manchester Metropolitan University and Arts for Health that's uh, an amazing exhibition of work by a stroke survivor from the Trafford area so that's going to be open from the 1st to the 11th of May. We've got some sporting events going on this year. So we're at the Bolton Wanderers versus West Brom last game of the season. And we're going to be raising money, also raising awareness of stroke. Uh, that's a Know Your Blood Pressure event particularly. So we're going to be raising awareness of stroke prevention uh, with the Bolton fans. And we've also been fortunate enough to get a slot at the Magic Weekender, which is at the Etihad Stadium in Manchester. That's the last weekend in May. Uh, the Super League, uh, it's the finale to the Super League season, and we're going to be there, again, raising awareness of stroke, telling people about the work that we're doing, and trying to get people more involved in the work of the Stroke Association. So there's all that going on. There's going to, there's going to be a lot happening over the next couple of months. Hi, my name's Lisa. Uh, I work for the Stroke Association and actually support volunteering um, so everything to do with volunteering I support within the organisation. As a, a, a volunteer supporter, uh, can you tell me what does uh, 2012, uh, the anniversary, and this Action for Stroke Month mean to you in your, in, in your role? Um, I think the 2012 celebrations, our 20th anniversary, Action on Stroke Month, are all about raising the profile of stroke and the Stroke Association. Um, so that we can continue to provide the support that we do to stroke survivors. Um, I think it's about what we've achieved and what we're going to achieve in the future, and I think we all have a role to play in that, staff, volunteers, service users. Um, from a volunteering perspective, we really want to engage with our volunteers through these celebrations and actually 
get them going out and being ambassadors for us, talking about why they do what they do, um, why, why supporting the Stroke Association is important and trying to raise the profile of stroke. Um, so one way that we've been trying to encourage people to do that is by um, working with the BBC Connect and Create project to actually run workshops around public speaking so that we can give people the confidence to go and do that. Um, we are also um, looking towards maybe having virtual birthday party celebrations, maybe through Facebook or Twitter is something that's been suggested. Um, we're also having birthday celebrations in the more traditional sense uh, in Wales. They're holding a series of um, birthday celebrations with volunteers to launch Action on Stroke Month and the 2012 celebrations, but also to recognise what um, good work the volunteers do with us and on our behalf. Um, we're also looking to maybe combine that with Volunteers Week. Uh, because that's run at the beginning of June, so it's quite timely, so we can actually uh, recognise the work that our volunteers do, but also actually engage them in all the action on stroke and 2012 celebrations. So volunteers then uh, are, are, are important for the Stroke Association? Definitely. Uh, we have nearly 5,000 volunteers uh, in the UK supporting the Stroke Association and without them we just wouldn't be able to deliver a lot of the services that we deliver, um, run fundraising events sometimes, they come and support those with us and do a lot of the things that we do as an organisation so they're an extremely important part of what we do.